Hi everyone and welcome to the Citrix Launchpad series, today focused on security. Over the next 30 minutes, we're going to showcase some new solutions we're introducing to help protect your organizations against the growing cyber threat. The last 18 months have been a roller coaster ride for many organizations, but one thing the pandemic has proven out is the importance of secure distributed work. As companies have experienced a surge in output from their teams over the last year, there's no doubt that remote and hybrid work is here to stay. Even before this year, the rapid shift to cloud and SaaS, together with mobility and more flexible operating models, have distributed work environments and expanded the attack surface of businesses. When things flipped to being almost entirely remote during the early phase of the pandemic, it only exacerbated that problem and threat actors responded. We've seen the volume and sophistication of attacks increase in the last year. And because of your increasing distributed environments, it's taking longer to discover these breaches and mitigate them. So the security challenges are daunting and IT is having to balance that against the need for a good user experience. Yes, Tim. In fact, our recent global research shows that security initiatives like Zero Trust and employee experience are almost always interrelated. 71% of IT leaders surveyed are looking to replace their traditional VPN solutions with a Zero Trust architecture or cloud-based VPN-less model. And when we ask them a follow-up question on employee experience, 97% of those surveyed said they believe that employee experience will actually improve due to zero trust initiatives. This data reflects that it's really a whole new paradigm for IT. Before the pandemic, IT environments were designed for 99% of the workers to be in the office and 1% to be remote. And that enabled IT to secure the perimeter while delivering a consistent, high performance and seamless experience for most employees. When the pandemic hit, the equation flipped. And suddenly, companies were faced with supporting 99% of workers working remotely, and those old solutions designed for in-office workers couldn't just keep up, and the experience suffered. Companies rolled out band-aids like simple VPNs paired with unmanaged personal devices, but those aren't long-term solutions. Of course, it made the experience a little bit better for employees, but it also introduced giant security holes. Today, it's clear that the reality will be somewhere in the middle with companies needing a way to ensure strong security and a good experience, no matter where users are and no matter what device that they are using. This calls for a zero trust approach that's adaptive and contextual. Adaptive and contextual. Those are key terms you're going to hear a lot about today. And I want to dig into why that's so important. We know that users need fast, easy access to their work resources to be both productive and engaged. But at the moment, most workers face a poor experience because of network and access challenges. Providing a consistent experience to a highly distributed and mobile workforce remains unsolved for most businesses. Second, there are way too many hurdles for users to get their best work done. They have to remember different ways to access various applications, depending upon what device or operating system they're using, VPN, VPN-less, single sign-on, gateway proxies, and the list goes on. These are technologies that add to complexity and have to be overcome before an employee can even start to do their actual job. They need security to be invisible. Yes, it can be painful for users and there are always gonna be big challenges for IT. Over the years, IT has accumulated a lot of on-prem technologies, and naturally, they want a solution that will work with their existing investments without vendor lock-in. They want something that will help them move to a cloud model over some period of time in order to benefit from scalability and the latest capabilities, but they still want the option of deployment choice because of data privacy laws or local laws. But when they try to address this, the market is fragmented and confusing. Businesses have to choose between having multiple point products, and the problem is made worse by the shortage of IT security talent in the market. The threat vectors are growing faster than HR can hire. What IT is looking for is a solution that organizes all of the chaos, 
that delivers adaptive security for distributed hybrid workforces with a zero trust approach and do so in a way that's simple for IT to manage. Well, that's great context, Joe. It's a big challenge and one I'm proud to say that we at Citrix are tackling head on. We've invested a great deal to reduce the complexity that both users and IT are facing. And today, I'm pleased to take the wraps off of our new solution, Citrix Secure Private Access. Secure Private Access is a new cloud-delivered service that provides zero-trust-based intelligent contextual security for all access types and all work scenarios. So, Joe, why don't you tell them a little bit about it? The cornerstone of Citrix Secure Private Access is our new adaptive access and authentication technology that is zero trust based. Traditional appliance based security solutions were designed on a principle of implicit trusting, something that is known, be it an employee, a whitelist URL, or a managed device. The notion of implicit trust is also exploited by a lot of our modern day attacks. Zero trust instead says never trust and always verify. It allows you to continuously monitor and assess activities through the session, and it automates security controls based on anomalies detected. The adaptive access and authenticating technology in Citrix Secure Private Access unifies all of the various access solutions you described earlier. VPN, VPNless, single sign-on, gateway proxies, micro VPN, and so on and so on and allows users to access corporate sanctioned applications, whether they're browser-based or a non-browser-based application, based on a detailed endpoint analysis of device posture and user location. And because it's cloud-delivered, it's easy to deploy and manage, scalable on demand, always up to date with the latest protections, with security controls enforced in real time, at the edge, closer to where the apps and the users are located. It allows users to access whitelist URLs in a sandbox environment that prevents malicious content from affecting the end user device or the underlying infrastructure. Well, that's great. And what you just described is really ideal for enabling secure and productive hybrid work. It's cloud delivered solution that provides zero trust access to applications and data and helps to reduce risk by replacing traditional on-premise appliances like VPNs and software gateways. It makes the user experience really frictionless by unifying access and SSO. That's right. It's contextual, providing just-in-time, precise access to only the resources the users require. And it's perfect for other use cases like accelerating mergers and acquisitions and divestiture projects. Citrix Secure Private Access integrates with popular third-party identity providers like Microsoft, Okta, Google, allowing for faster onboarding of users and also reduce the risk to corporate applications by providing secure access for employees, contractors, and other non-employee workers, be it from IT Manage or from their own devices. We harness integrated remote browser isolation technology to protect from browser-based threats and app protection policies that prevent hijacking of user sessions, key logging, and screen captures. Unlike most vendors that provide access, like a switch, you either have it on or you don't, Citrix Secure Private Access acts as a dimmer switch, providing least privileged access to the application users need, and also determine what they can do within those apps. For those who want to deploy a full cloud security stack based on SASE architecture, we are introducing Citrix Secure Access that combines the capabilities of secure private access with secure internet access and SD-WAN. In addition to zero trust access, it provides comprehensive protection against internet and zero day threats through secure web gateway, cloud access security broker, next generation firewall, malware protection, and network sandbox, all in one integrated service. As a whole, now CISOs and SecOps teams can accelerate their journey to zero trust security by breaking down the barriers of application types and user types. CISOs are able to implement better compliance and governance models with adaptive authentication for users, adaptive granular authorization per app, and policy enforcement for data theft protection. 
Absolutely. There's a lot for CISOs and SecOps teams to like in all of this. So why don't we take a look at Citrix Secure Access in Action, Joe? Sure. So let's start by taking an example of Acme Corporation that just acquired its competitor. Typically with a VPN, it would take weeks or maybe even months to set up remote access for a typical employee. But with secure private access, new employees can be onboarded in just minutes. Let's call this employee Joey. Joey is a non-VDI user that starts his day, a home office, by logging into his corporate managed laptop. He uses Windows Hello to log in. Since secure private access supports all identity providers and authentication methods, the secure access agent that is installed on Joey's laptop in this case does not require additional logins. Once the secure access agent is active, Joey opens Outlook, Joey opens an email that has financial information about his company with link to an intranet web app. Joey clicks on the link, and since his secure access agent is active, he gets access to the web app with a single sign-on experience. Joey switches over to SAP, an example of a client-server application that can seamlessly access without any VPN. Joey then switches over to SQL Server and accesses a database that resides in Azure behind the company's firewall. In just a few clicks, he has access to what he needs. A few days later, Joey is at an airport for a trip. He connects to the airport Wi-Fi with his personal laptop to get some work done. He tries to access an internal web app in Chrome, and upon detecting Joey's location with his VOIO device, the system requests multi-factor authentication and an air-gapped environment per company policy. Joey enters his credentials, as well as a one-time password. With adaptive access policies, Joey's session is redirected to an isolated browser environment using secure browser service. Since he is coming from a BOIO device, IT has enforced a little bit more stricter security controls with watermarking as well as disabling clipboard access for Joey. So he can't copy or download any data onto his personal device. Later, Joey checks in to his hotel room and uses his corporate device to attend a call with his team and his customer. He logs into the laptop with the same Windows Hello credential and connects to the hotel Wi-Fi. Joey starts his video call and wants to share his screen so he can work with it with his customers, but he doesn't realize he has shared his full desktop, which has corporate finance data on the screen as well. Upon noticing, he panics and quickly ends the call. He goes back to the video recording and sees that the financial data was actually grayed out as it is protected with secure private accesses app protection technology. Since Joy was accessing network resources from a different country, adaptive access policies required his session to be protected against any keylogger or screen capturing malware. Well, that is just a great overview of secure private access, Joe, but what about our existing virtualization customers? How does this service help them? Yes, for existing virtualization customers, if your day starts with accessing virtual apps or desktops using Workspace app, Secure Private Access also provides adaptive authentication and adaptive policies for your virtualized sessions. With Secure Private Access, the browser experience within Workspace app allows Workspace users to seamlessly access browser-based private apps without any VDI, applying the same security policies we just showed. So that was a look at Zero Trust Access with Secure Private Access, but there's more. With Secure Internet Access as part of our new Secure Access solutions, Citrix provides a platform for customers to start moving other security controls, like SWIG, malware protection, DLP controls, from on-prem to a cloud-delivered SASE architecture. Let me show you. We're back with Joey. His friend had recommended he check out a new financial calculator on the web. In the native Chrome browser on his corporate laptop, Joey tries to visit a blog about this calculator on a risky social media platform. A traditional swig would block access, not allowing Joey to get his work done, but with secure internet access, IT can allow access to certain categories of sites using an isolated browser session. As you can see, as Joey enters the URL, his session was transferred to Citrix's secure browser service, that allows him to get his work done at the same time, stop any browser-based threats to his device. 
Joey is now on his way back home and is in the middle of a layover. He wants to share some files with his team. He tries to open his corporate share file account, but by mistake, he opens a personal instance. The document he is trying to upload has credit card numbers and personal identification. Upon detecting the content of the document, Secure Internet Access blocks the upload of Joey's personal share file account and redirects him to Acme Corporation's share file account. Secure Internet Access detects any sensitive information stored in the documents and allows admins to set policies on how these documents can be shared and who they can be shared with. Well, that's very cool and a great look at what these new solutions can do. Citrix Secure Private Access will be generally available in Q1 of next year for ZTNA to all applications, enabling secure and productive hybrid work, M&A and contract and gig workers using unmanaged and BYO devices. And Citrix Secure Access, which will be generally available next year as well, bundles secure private access and secure internet access for full stack, SASE, cloud delivered security, adding in user, device, and data protection against all internet and zero day threats, a unified service edge for private and internet access. We believe secure access and employee experience go hand in hand. Now more than ever, you need solutions capable of securing your apps and content from unauthorized access, protecting against network level threats, browser-based attacks, and more without complicating or jeopardizing the employee experience. Citrix's approach to zero trust is unique in the industry. We support secure access to all apps and content. That includes web, SaaS, TCP, mobile, Windows, VDI, and DAS. Only Citrix provides a secure connectivity solution to all of your applications, regardless of the connectivity type that they need even in native browsers or BYOD access using remote browser isolation technology. Only Citrix provides a choice of deployment model, whether that's Citrix managed cloud service or a customer managed on-prem solution, providing flexibility for cost, performance, and security, along with single tenant and multi-tenant options. And only Citrix provides integrated security analytics for continuous and adaptive access, correlating all data and events to provide actionable insights. And unlike others that require you to purchase multiple solutions from multiple vendors, manage different sets of tools, different sets of security policies, and different dashboards for monitoring to achieve the same outcome, Citrix unifies zero trust approaches to protect users, devices, access and data stored in any sanctioned or unsanctioned application from internal or internet-based threats, all in one solution. At Citrix, we've long had an outcome-focused approach to solving the challenge of secure distributed work. Citrix's approach is to remove complexity for users in IT, to empower simple, seamless access and contextual security no matter where work happens. On the topic of distributed work, the same trends I mentioned earlier about hybrid work being here to stay have opened up a great opportunity to streamline IT while enabling secure, productive work for a wide range of tasks and knowledge workers. It's with that lens, I'm pleased to announce a joint initiative between Google and Citrix that enables a zero trust environment for reduced threats and a minimized attack surface. Joe, why don't you walk us through the highlights for everyone? Sure, Tim. You know Google has always done an incredible job with Chrome OS, in particular when it comes to security and simplicity. Chrome OS is a tremendously secure endpoint with phenomenal protection against ransomware and malware, and that's a big reason why a lot of enterprises have chosen Chrome OS devices for big slices of their task and knowledge workers. And we also see them quite a bit in verticals like education. Of course, while Chrome OS gives you access to Google Play apps and web apps via the Chrome browser, with Citrix, you get the freedom to access any app on a Chrome OS device. Virtual apps, Windows apps, DAS, 
all available through Citrix Workspace and still benefiting from that secure endpoint. On top of that, Citrix Secure Internet Access Service provides stronger, multi-layer security by harnessing secure web gateways, CASB, and DLP for internet threats on top of Chrome OS's great malware and ransomware protection. Secure Internet Access is natively supported on Chrome OS, making deployment faster, easier, and more scalable. And there are a lot of great use cases for this, blocking access to predefined categories like adult, games, or pirated content, preventing access to personal SaaS accounts, blocking file uploads to cloud storage providers, including from virtual desktops, preventing sensitive data exfiltration on USB devices, even granular control for social media sites. Well, that's a great overview, Joe. Workspace and secure internet access is a really strong combination that makes Chrome OS plus Citrix a great option for secure, productive work. It's a really simple yet very powerful solution. And part of the work Citrix and Google are doing together is to help companies simplify deployment and scale with our two organizations working jointly to support customers looking to adopt Citrix and Chrome OS. There are some tremendous examples of Citrix and Chrome OS in action, and we invite you to check out the Citrix Launchpad Security Resource Hub to learn more. The last thing we want to touch on today is an exciting addition to Citrix web app and API protection service. With more applications being delivered from the cloud, and more data shifting to the cloud, we're seeing more application and API attacks to exploit application vulnerabilities. Last year, we introduced Citrix Web App and API Protection Service, a cloud-delivered security solution that provides comprehensive, always up-to-date security to all your applications, regardless of their architecture or where they're deployed in multi-cloud. It includes an integrated web application firewall and volumetric distributed denial of service protection. And today, I'm pleased to announce the addition of bot management. So Joe, what does this new capability entail? Well, today's bots represent a large and growing threat to businesses across a range of activities, including credential stuffing for account takeovers, gift card or credit card fraud, spamming repeatable process for fake account creation, or inventory hoarding. There are things even like intelligence harvesting for phishing attacks and the scraping of protected content. If they are not mitigated, they can cause serious disruption and outages, financial loss, and reputational damage. The addition of bot management to Citrix web app and API protection lets IT quickly set up a simple permit deny list of IP addresses to filter known bad bots quickly and reduce strain on your infrastructure. We also use signatures, device fingerprinting, and behavioral analysis to detect more sophisticated bots and block, redirect, challenge, or rate limit bad bot traffic to your site to defend against automated threats. Now, customers can protect their apps from account takeovers, stop their content from being scraped, and reduce the strain on their infrastructure caused by bots while allowing good bots, like search engine spiders, through. There are a lot of great use cases here. That's an important new addition, Joe, especially in a time with rising cybersecurity threats. With bot management added to Citrix web app and API protection service, we're providing a comprehensive and holistic security for web applications wherever they are deployed. Bot management is available now. So we've covered a lot of ground today. Simple, seamless access and contextual security no matter where work happens with the new Citrix Secure Private Access Solution and Citrix Secure Access. A secure, highly effective solution in Citrix and Google Chrome's OS for secure endpoints, secure internet access, and access to any app through Citrix Workspace. And finally, the addition of bot management to Citrix web app and API protection service for greater protection against application level threats. To learn more about all of our announcements today, visit the Citrix Launchpad Security Resource Hub. And be sure to check out 
Citrix Launchpad work next Tuesday to hear all about how Citrix is fueling worker productivity with the latest innovations in Citrix Workspace, Rike, and more. Thank you for joining us today.